the best time with the best people. Um, the best people? The second best to one of us Perfect. is like, to you. Yep, to yep, you, yep, one yep, of us yep, is like. Yep. thinking of something <laughs> but like I don't know sometimes we would eat like steak on set and then you would like let out a little burp and everybody would kind of oh know my God. what you ate for lunch <laughs> that's pretty funny that bad. actually did happen that actually did happen <laughs> I like yeah, yeah. yeah I remember Those the, things that happen yeah. you know we're humans there was one uh we j which we just kind of finished the, the ending of the show so we can imagine it might be quite traumatic um, and somebody who was there um, in a very dramatic scene let out just um, a little little fart, a little gas in the middle of the take. And it killed me. It sent me st straight to heaven. I, I could not, I could not handle it. And it was incredible. Mine's not funny. It's, uh, I guess, a little more traumatic. Um, <laughs> I had the worst stomach bug slash food poisoning of my life when I had to film probably like my the section of my toughest scenes on the entire show. So that was an experience and a half. I first knew that I wanted to be an actor. Uh, I was I was obsessed with Indiana Jones as a kid. I was I watched Raiders practically every day, and then one day um, I watched Star Wars for the first time, and I noticed that Han Solo looked a lot like Indiana Jones. Um, and this was at a time when I thought that, you know, the the VCR was this magic box that I could put something in, and these characters would come out of it and really put on a show for me. Uh, and so when I saw that Harrison that uh, that Han Solo looked a lot like Indiana Jones, I asked my mom, "Who? Why do they look so much alike?" And she told me that he's he's an actor. And it's the same guy. And that blew my mind. And I think that that was the uh, that was the light of the fuse. I started acting just over three years ago. I probably knew I think it's been there subconscious for a while. My mom is a huge film buff. My older brother's an actor, but it's really only materialized probably in the last like five or six years. And then I kind of sat with it for like three years. And then I like, you know, went full steam ahead and here we are. I'm so grateful to be here. <laughs> yeah, I was eight years old and I had, I was a huge book nerd. I just loved books growing up. And so I was a big fan of C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. And the movie version came out and the young girl, Lucy Pevensey, was played by a brunette who Georgie had, like she was fantastic. But as an eight year old, in all of the illustrations I'd seen, she was blonde and I just couldn't, it didn't sit right with me. And I, I watched the movie over and over again. And then my mom got me a book about the making of it. And from then on, I didn't start professionally doing it till I was 17, but from then on, I was like, I have to be an actor. I want to tell, I want to play Lucy Pevensey. <laughs> I think I might have been three or four and I told my parents like I am going to be an actor. I wasn't like I want to. I was like, I'm going to be. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> I started acting when I was I was about 11 years old, um, but I was always fascinated with, with cameras and, and movies. And my dad and I would always watch movies together. And, and I think that really drew me to, to film. Um, and then I think I really started taking it seriously about six years ago. I was like 15 or 16 when I, I knew like this is what I wanted to do with my career. I mean, for me, it's kind of always been there because both my parents, like before I was even born, they worked in news, which isn't at all the same thing I've now realized now that I'm in this industry. But um, from the second I was born to like 12 years old, I was on news sets pretty consistently and like the cameras and the microphones and like the really pretty news reporters and like the research and everything like the whole the way it worked just completely fascinated me and then as a child like I was literally five years old when Hannah Montana premiered and I was like well I can do that too so like <laughs> weirdly like my parents job and Hannah Montana I was like I that Whatever that is, I want to do that. So that basically. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that about you and I love it. Um, <laughs> it's so great. I had a similar kind of from birth thing, but nobody in my family does this. So I really don't know where I got um, the audacity, truly. The audacity. <laughs> I 
my first acting role was Benjamin Bunny on stage um, in the, uh, the the musical performance of uh, Peter Rabbit and Benjamin Bunny. Oh, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I should go first because I can't follow you up. <laughs> I, I I did a Lifetime movie called The Bride He Bought Online. Woo! Woo! It's yeah, it's been a journey. It's been a ride. I'm, it's been awesome. But yeah, the first uh, job I booked was The Tomorrow War working with an incredible cast, incredible producers, incredible team. Such a joy, such a treat, like such a wonderful experience. I, this is my first time flying first class, like, but no, that working with Chris Pratt, he is such an incredible guy. I really can't say it enough. Like he would be up, he would be up, he'd be in the gym, he'd be off to set, he'd work the longest day. The camera's always on this guy. He has the best energy, best attitude. He's kind, he's like such a good example of a superstar. And it was awesome to like experience that as my first job. You know, it filters down from top to bottom and that's something that I'll take with me moving forward. Oh, that was, yeah, that was a blast. Uh, Cobra Kai was, was literally, it was, it was a dream come true. Uh, my first day showing up on set, I ended up getting this fight scene uh, that, uh, that Martin Cove, who I was playing the younger version of, uh, was, was there for, and he got to kind of oversee it. And just every day on that set is just, I mean, ki kids in a, in a sandbox, uh, you know, the, the, the big, the big three, John, Josh and Hayden are just, you know, kids living out their dream every single day. So it's a very, uh, very passion heavy uh show and it's it's just it's such a huge honor to be a part of oh my gosh it's so much fun it's the best time with the best people um, the best people the second best to one of us is like to you yep, to yep, yeah yep, one of yep, us yep, is like yep. um no really it's been such a joy and i'm so honored to still be on it and every season we just get to dive more into that character um and, you know she starts off as a mean girl and then you see kind of her arc and it's been such such pleasure to work with and oh uh, i'm such a big fan of all the people over there i'm so excited to hang out with them <laughs> I mean, my all-time favorite actress is Natalie Portman. I don't think that'll change. She's she's everything. Melissa Klatza. Hacks on HBO. It's a tie between Succession and Ted Lasso. Ooh, I, I just started uh, Mayor of Easttown and that I'm like three episodes in and Kate Winslet's Phenomenal, phenomenal. So I'm, like, I'm excited to continue watching because it's just, it's incredible. It's got me, got me hooked. I got to um, Succession, I am absolutely obsessed with. And then in the YA category, Sex Education, I really, really love. One of Us is Lying is going to be streaming exclusively on Peacock uh, beginning October 7th. The first three episodes will be coming out. <laughs>